Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and today we're going to be reacting to Amphibia Season 2, Episodes 11 to 14. Uh, this will be the last Amphibia video I record before my trip. I don't even know if this will go out. This is like I think one of the ones that will go out probably right around the time I get back, honestly. I'm not entirely sure when, but... Uh, Recording this one a bit in advance since I do have a trip coming up. But yeah, we're getting some more Amphibia. Another four episodes. All our sets have been four episodes besides the two episode one, that, the second video. Just a funny little note here. Almost every set in season two has been four episodes and we had exactly zero sets in season one that was four episodes. Funny how that works out, but um... Yeah, another four episodes of Amphibia. Last time we essentially had the... Okay, there we go. Um, last time we essentially had the Newtopia set, uh, 7 to 10, which was really good. There was a lot of interesting adventures in Newtopia. Uh, it was very... I like the structure. It, I, like, I like the idea of kind of loosely keeping everything... Uh, continuous while telling episodic stories. I feel like they've really found a balance in season two that I really like, and it feels like a progression from season one where it was just straight up, you know, kind of just episodic, and now there's like a a pretty consistently um, progressing story that's being told, but through the, all these episodes, but isn't taking away from the more episodic nature of the series as well. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I've really been enjoying Amphibia. I think season two has been great so far. We're halfway through season two. We have, uh, three more videos. I mean, two after this, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that would make sense. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to see where it goes. It's 11 to 14 in this video. Uh, we haven't had a double length since episode six. That could just mean we're not going to get another one until the finale. I fully expect the finale to be a double length, but... Yeah, that might mean that we won't, don't get another double length until the finale, or it might mean that, with the exception of maybe a season finale, they're just going to pop up randomly, so who knows? Um, but yeah, I, I don't know about on that front, but I am excited to see what these episodes have in store. We're heading back to Wartwood, and what's that going to entail? Is this going to be the kind of sent back to Wartwood said, and then Marcy's going to come back at the end and be like, okay, it's time for our trip. Like, is that where this is going? Is it going to be like four episodes of like Wartwood sauce before we actually leave? Or I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities here. I, I, I also really, really want to see Sasha in this set. We didn't get Sasha at all in seven to 10. I would really like to see more Sasha in this set. So give me Sasha, please. And that's, that's pretty much it. So <laughs> let's jump in to episode 11 of Amphibia season two in, I don't know if this is, yeah, it's like my, my lighting is like slightly like different. So I don't know if it's like, if I'm like too lit or not lit enough, honestly, in three, two, one, and play. <laughs> Here we go. Pop a bop, pop a bop, pop a This OP is fine, but. An instrumental OP has to be really good to stick in your head, and this just doesn't do it for me the way the Gravity Falls one does. Otherwise, the lyrical songs are much more likely to leave an impression. Alright. Night drivers, okay. That's probably them heading back to Wartwood, and there'll be some night driving, yep. Pretty simple. Referring to these two, yep. Alright, Polly, check this out. According to this map, if we drive straight through the night, we'll be home by morning. Ah, <sighs> say home again. Just think. Home for breakfast. Mmm, pill bug pancakes. Hanging out with Ivy. Of course, you're thinking about Ivy. Not that it's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. Huh? Whoa, where do you guys think you're going? We've got a schedule to keep. Guys, we 
You've been driving nonstop for like 20 hours. Jesus yes, Christ. Shut eye and we'll be back on the road by morning. But we're so close. Yeah, can't you just power through one more night? Please, please, please. I want to sleep in a real bed. I know how you guys feel, but you're not the ones who have to drive. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you two no. sleep and we can get us home? Yeah, remember how we owned Quarrelers Pass? Damn. Oh, oh, you sweet, sweet, ignorant kids. Completely <laughs> changes at night. And oh, not shit. For the better, let me tell you. The nocturnal leech flies are bad enough, but I've even heard folks tell of evil spirits wandering these parts. Let's go, Real evil spirits. That's such. the best. I haven't seen any myself, of course, but, you know, could happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would, it would Plus, definitely happen when you guys you are not sussing. driving manual. But forget it. Which it's Anne did. And Anne read fine. that whole damn now, thing. If you'll excuse us. <sighs> This is messed up. Sure, we're young and made mistakes, but we've proven we can handle ourselves. I know. Yes and right? no. What in the world could be so dangerous out there that we haven't lived through already? I've been eaten eight times, Sprig. Eight times. That's more than seven. I sort of look forward to it now. What the hey, fuck? Wait a sec. Hop up and in our sleep, right? So asleep, they won't even know if we take the reins and drive us home right now. And when they wake up, they'll be so grateful to be home, they'll completely forget to be mad at us. Sprig, you creepy little genius! You sure they're not gonna wake up though, right? Absolutely! Those two are out cold. Huh, wonder if they'll have any dreams. Oh my god, are we gonna actually see their dreams? Yeah, we are. It's gonna be a dream about them taking the reins. Or... Fucking weird ass fucking. What is this supposed to be? Fucking. Mad Max? I don't know, honestly. It's... I'm, I'm, I'm really stretching it. No, they like you. They, they, they serve you. You're. I'm floating. Wait a second. This must be a dream. Yep. And if it's a dream, I can control it. Yeah, he's having a lucid dream now. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I feel free. Come on, you freaks. Follow me. <laughs> they honestly look freakier now than they did before. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Anne's dream, it's going to be some fucked up shit. Wow. No stinking way. Or not. Yeah, I said fucked up shit. What is this, a fucking Mabel dream? What the Welcome fuck? Welcome to Yogurt Truffle, fam. Would you like a free sample from my body? Fucking uh, star so butterfly it dream? Got bugs in it? Bugs? Our yogurt doesn't have any bugs. Did you say no bugs? Nice. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. And yet you've oh, gotten oh, used to bugs. Ramp. What flavors you got? Green tea? Caramel? Hazelnut? <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid we only have one flavor here, Mom. No, no, no. Oh, no! Yeah. I like how they had reverse dreams. Uh, one that looked like a nightmare that was actually a dream, and one that looked like a dream that was actually a nightmare. That's great. Nice. So far, so good. Damn, Bessie. you, Polly, but it is you who is the excellent night driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, end of the line, Polly. There's no way we can dodge a couple of little pebbles. <laughs> nice. <laughs> little pebbles, by the way. Those are giant rocks. Oh, that's a big rock. <laughs> yeah, you better go get him, Bessie. Yeah, you were never wrong about how cold. Yummy. We're having up a die of planet for dinner. For breakfast. Well, we obviously nailed that, but uh should we stop? Pshaw! No way! That all you got, night driving? Then away we go. Oh boy. Murder! And it... murder! Birds that say murder, that's pretty base. What else are we gonna find? Yeah, Polly is chilling. <laughs> Did this place get any creepier? Wait, who's that? What the actual fuck? Oh my god, Hitchhiker. Oh, hitchhiker. What's uh, our policy on those? Just play cool. Maybe he's friendly. 
Hey there, mister. Like that hat. Anything we can help you with today? He's gonna be... That's the hook. Okay! Well, that was close. Good thing we're way too good at night driving. Preach! Yeah, you guys are the best. You guys might actually make it at like this rate. Fjords? How foggy could it be? Ew. Pretty foggy. What do you even think those things even are? You don't want to know. Foggiest idea. Kek W. Sorry, sorry. But no, seriously, you don't want to know. Crazy stuff. Oh, hey, wait a second. I don't see the road anymore. Holly, are we even going the right way? Hey, look, there's someone. Maybe we can ask them. The same guy! He's trying to help you. Oh, my frog, it's the hitchhiker! It can't be! Don't make eye contact. Too late. Yeah, it's... Fork in the road. And he's pointing left. Ah, they go right. Right. You idiots, you should have listened to him. Ah! And of course, the best part of this is that Anne and Hot Pop are sleeping through it all. Oh, now now the, the foggy fords are saying your names. Where's the hitchhiker? Did we lose him? Definitely. Follow us. <sighs> Wrong. Hey, did you just get a chill? Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a little illegal, bro. He's what the fuck? Oh no, you don't! I think he's trying to help you from prevent you from dying. Damn, you just missed Folly. What the hell? Is that a fucking... Honestly, I've been hooked sounds like it's a fucking, uh, Spongebob reference. <laughs> trying to help you. Yeah. Oh no, the seat! Pop-up's gonna kill us! Focus, Sprint! <laughs> you Holly, idiots. You impaled? No. Um, no, not yet. Huh, me neither. <gasps> Hitchhiker. He's gone. Whoa! And not only that, Sprig, but He look saved where you we from are. death. The valley! Yeah. We did it! Good thing we stopped when we did. We would have been goners! <laughs> Literally would have died. Yeah. And it's all because we're the greatest night drivers ever! Yeah. What what is it? It's a hitchhiker! Is it gonna be fucking Anne or something? It's a statue. Actual oh, ghosts. This monument is dedicated to Zechariah Nettles. Zechariah Nettles. Days guiding travelers away from danger on their way back home. Oh man, Polly, what if that hitchhiker wasn't trying to hurt us? He was trying to help us. He did try to make us take that other path. And yep. look, there's the path we were on. And there's the path he wanted us to use. Oh, yep. it looks nice. Between that, stopping us from driving off this cliff, and how he just disappeared? I don't think there's any way around it. You ghost tell baby. me that Hitchhiker was the ghost of old Zechariah? Hell yeah! Came to do us a solid? Yeah! Sure seems like it. Whoa. That deserves what a... What the heck whoa. in the hand basket is going on out here? You better not have disobeyed me. Dang it! Of <laughs> all the irresponsible, inconsiderate, juvenile... Wait, HB, look at them. A ghost, a ghost, a ghost with the most. Without Mr. Dettles, we surely be Dettles. Dettles, huh? I don't know what happened last night, but it looks like they've already learned their lesson. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll let Let's scoop them up. Yep. Say, Ann, did you have any weird dreams last night? Oh yeah. It was horrible, Hop Pop. Horrible! Okay, so I was in this town full of yogurt, right? I was a god in my dream. Nice. I'd rather be- Oh, yeah! The, yeah, the robot! Yeah, because they're not- Oh, boy. Yeah, because they're not in, um, they're not- They're not, 
Oh, for fuck's sake, why can't I say what I'm trying to say? Well, Return to Wartwood, that's a very fitting name for this episode, but they're not they're not in uh, Newtopia anymore where he couldn't access it because he was, you know, couldn't get past the water or whatever. But now, now he's ready to pop off. He's ready to get that shit rolling. So that, that oh yeah, this set, we're probably getting the battle with that machine thing that's after, presumably Anne, but we'll have to see. Almost definitely Anne. We'll have to see, like I said, though. Um, but yeah, that was that was a fun episode. We had a late night driving episode. Ironic, given I'm about to go on a trip that will involve... On the final day, it, it's ironic, it's the same thing. I, the way I structure it, um, the one night that I will... The one day that I'll push it the hardest driving is the final day because you don't have to do shit the next day. So once you get back, you're done, right? So actually really funny that all by the time you in fact the timing might be even funnier because by the i don't really know exactly when this video will go up but it'll probably either be right after i get back or maybe even the day that i am driving back from my trip so very funny stuff there but um yeah that was a uh, that was a really fun episode to start the set we're heading back to wartwood and obviously with the title the next episode return to wartwood we will in the in the b episode of 11 we will in fact actually be in wartwood we're gonna get to see a lot of our uh, potatoes who we haven't really seen this season uh which will be nice to see a lot of those uh, old chums from wartwood and i imagine some interesting stuff will go down i don't know what but i imagine we'll get some interesting stuff so it should be interesting to see where this goes from here but that was definitely a good start to the set, and I'm excited to see what happens now that you know we we spent uh, we spent one segment returning to Wartwood. Now we have an episode actually called Return to Wartwood, which will be our proper return to Wartwood since since we left off this episode only three miles away. Uh, so I'm really excited for this. I don't really think there's that much else to say. I think it's gonna this is gonna be really interesting. So. Uh, yeah, I guess why don't we check out episode 11B and see what the return to Wartwood is actually like and see what this episode brings. That was a fun episode, though. A nice little Sprig and Polly episode. Very, very entertaining little episode. Very enjoyable. And ghosts are a thing, apparently. Shouts to Adam. Shouts to Kyler. I missed the swamp air, the aroma of grass, a whisper of manure, and sure. just a pinch of humidity. You feel that humidity, Anne? A pinch. Just a pinch. <gasps> I see it, I see it! I can see Wartwood! <gasps> Whoa. So it looks wood, oh my god. Mighty Wartwood, I sing to thee, our noble history, a new tell the tongue. Hey! That irritating voice. True. Wow. The planters are back. Get out here, everyone. Wow. Wow. We're gonna make this into a big thing. Sure. Hey, folks. Sylvia. Of course. Of course. The ships. Any luck finding a way back to your world, Anne? Not yet, but we're whittling away at it. <laughs> nice. That wood reference was for me. Nice wow, whittling away. Hey, my boy Willie. Seen you lot for a long time. Uh, definitely didn't see you on your trip. Not at what all. You say? Totally not. William. But, oh, <laughs> got him. Uh, hey Felicia, where's Ivy? Oh, she said she had something more important to do. <laughs> More important? Something about it. Ambush! Got him. Uh, hi. Hey, you. <laughs> what the fuck, so fucking there, you asshole. Down. Market stops for no one. Y'all can welcome back the planters after business hours. Ooh, Fair. How about we all meet at my restaurant tonight? Have a town dinner for the planters. Where in? I can't wait for some authentic swamp cooking. And I can't wait for that Newtopian coral hand fitment. Thanks for picking it up for me. Uh -oh. Say, if we're all gonna be together anyway, why not bring all the gifts from our wish list? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Very good then. Gifts. Wish list. Great idea, Mrs. Croker. Uh, can we go home, Hot huh, Papa? I am so sleepy. Of course, my sweet baby child. Okay, here we go. Come on, kids. 
Okay, nice. bye. <laughs> What the fuck? Aww. You want this one? No, no, all yours. What the heck is going on? Yeah, you two did not say something. Found it. So, uh, remember when Hop Hop and I went to pick up the wagon? Well, on our way back, Mrs. Croker asked if we could pick her up a new romance novel while we were in the city. Before we knew it, everybody was asking for stuff, so we made a wish list. We hid the list in a special place so we wouldn't forget. And you forgot it. And we forgot it. Yep. What? I'm so sorry, you guys. Please don't get mad. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, Polly. You're just a baby. But yeah, you, Hop Hop. I cannot believe you forgot about something so important, Hop Pop. Look, I'm sure we can find a way to bury this so no one finds out. Nope. Lying will only make it worse. I feel like we've learned that lesson by now. Well, yeah, for real. For sure. That's like the we most important lesson of the show. I <laughs> asked for red sunshell from the Utopian coast to match my blue moon shell. Oh, she can't find out, and what if she gets mad? What if she thinks I don't like her? The relationship will be over before it starts. The most important part. Fine, I'll do it for Sprite. Let's lie. I'll do it for Sprite. Great. Oh, no, let's that ship sink. Come up with a plan. Let's go. Yeah, and we better hurry, or you might actually yeah. refer to it as a ship. Time, That's great. Of course, Anne would know all about shipping. Thanks for watching the house, Chuck. I grew tulips. Dude, okay, Chuck's so the go. Agree on the concept. Fake empty gift boxes that get tragically destroyed by some kind of monster. But what monster? I mean, nothing too dangerous. We don't want anyone to actually get hurt. How about this? The Chickalisk, a beast that eats golden treasure, doesn't eat amphibians, won't attack unless threatened, and can be called to any area with the ritual. Where'd you get that book? This cover made out of skin? Maddie yeah. Give it to me. Oh, uh, of course nice. it was Maddie. I gotta say, this Chickalisk is pretty perfect. Gifts get eaten, no one gets hurt, and we don't get blamed. We all okay with using ancient eldritch magics? Sure, why not? I mean, what other type of magic would you use? Now to collect all the materials the we need for the ritual. First, we need the horn of a sky goat, whose arcane note pierces the air. Just rip the horn off the sky goat? Jesus. To amplify the dark energy. I love how we're, we're just doing ancient eldritch magic. Like, what the Finally, fuck? We need candles for that evil ritual vibe. Yep. Wait, that's not in the book. Trust me, it's a thing. Ooh, they have campfire. Ah! Nice. What the actual fuck Land is happening? The forbidden note. <gasps> Corrupted sacred message. What the fuck? Corrupted sacred no message. Oh my god. Well, looks like the summoning spell's working. Alrighty then. Now who wants stompies? Woo! Yeah? Yeah? Okay, guys. Sure. Tulips, you don't say. Dude, tulips are going in the gift soon. I mentioned for that hand. <laughs> Not literally, no feeling in it. <laughs> Present seem like an end of the night thing. Why rush it? And I barely got out of the ant queen's stomach alive. I'm still coughing up acid. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, at least when I look at my sun shell, it'll be like a piece of me was there with you. <laughs> but, uh, End of the day, it's just a shell, right? It's our shell. I'm really happy you Aww. found me one. <coughs> Big frog, finally! Hmm? Here we go. Chick a list, chick a list. What is that thing? Chick a list, the storm bear. It's an honor to see him, you know, before it kills us. Oh no! Who, Who could, could have, have predicted, predicted this? this? Don't overdo it. Seriously. <laughs> Aww! Thank you guys! Aww, I love the subtitles. What the heck is it saying? No idea. Its language is older than written history. <laughs> We should probably leave it alone till it's finished. No way! You guys did something nice for us. Are we gonna let some chicken get away with this? Wow. With the planters? No! Well then, come on! Let's save those presents! For the planters! For the planters, too. No, Ivy! Uh-oh. I can't believe it's finally my turn to say this, but... Told ya! Yeah. Boom! Boom! Even Eat hit him with the boom. Chunk. 
Docile unless provoked, by the way. I'm Lago. The heck, aka the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we're gonna fuck them up. Spring! Let's spatchcock this chicken. Spatchcock? Wait, guys, we gotta work together. Who knows what this thing can do? Laser beam! Um! Holy moly! What the? Uh, it's like a. Maddie, it's like a. Uh, 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 yeah, sure. uh, uh, sure. What the fuck's it called? Good enough. The the the, the, the bird Forward thing that run. petrifies people. Uh, oh, what is it called? You have beautiful eyes. There was one in um. Fucking like MLP even. Oh, what the? Why can't I see? Oh my god. I'm broken. Yeah, that didn't change anything. Damn, that's sick. The old people putting in that work. They're not old, they're just experienced. Oh! Uh... Toady's stone body as a shield. Wait, he's stone? Wow. That's the daisy, Archie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I guess you guys, I guess the presence actually melted, so I guess this thing's your plan works. Nothing's unbeatable. Everyone, chick -a formation. We have a formation for this? We have a formation for everything. Nice. chick -a formation. Holy Come shit. On, man. <gasps> what the hell? That looks stupid as fuck. <laughs> Nicholas out, okay. Nice. Finger licking gone! Finger licking gone. Gift you worked so hard to bring back for us. If only we had fought harder. I guess we let you guys down. Oh, oh that's a shame. What? <gasps> Get fucked. Can you believe it? The knife of it all. Why am I not surprised? Typical wow. planters, giant monsters, property damage, putting the entire yep. town in danger. When they were all defending you. I gotta admit, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh. Well, things have been really boring without you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, we haven't been on the TV Wait, show so where all the action happens. Call Amphibia. God to cover it up. Not especially. Oh. I'm just glad you're back. Ivy, I'm sorry I didn't get you a red sun shell. Ow! You big dummy! It's just a shell. There you go. Make it up to me by finally taking me on a date. Hey, let's get it. What the fuck, Anne? Yeah, yeah, thank you, Polly. Jesus here. Christ, Anne. Fucking shippers, in a nutshell. Nice, nice, nice. Petrified. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a funny little joke at the end. That was 11B of Amphibia Season 2, and um, that was a really nice episode. It was really sweet, a kind of focus on returning to Wartwood, quite literally, as the title uh, suggests, and just having an episode focused on, um, focused uh, in a way on kind of all the citizens of Wartwood, and like, obviously through the guise of this uh, supposed wish list that they totally forgot about and ignored. And uh, just seeing just how everyone was just happy to have the planters back, which was really, uh, really adorable. And it was a fun little episode basically about, hey, how you really shouldn't be lying and stuff because that's a pretty uh, asshole thing to do. And you should own up to your mistakes. But um, it was a cute little episode and Anne was hilarious in this. She was like, mm! <laughs> and, and then also her, her shipping, um, her shipping uh, 
hype was a bit was also very amusing and something that the uh, the type of people that watch these shows tend to uh, really just shows in general at this point are insane and uh, shipping uh, shipping is insane these days so uh, yeah yeah it's about right. But uh, that was really cute, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that episode. This was a pretty good start to the set. I liked the the travel episode, and then the the return episode, and now we're properly back in Wartwood, and we're back to Wartwood themed adventures in Amphibia, which is going to be a nice change of pace after last set. Be you know after the first couple sets being the journey to Newtopia, and then the last set. Um, like, the first two sets of Season 2 were the Journey to Newtopia. The third set was the Newtopia set. And now we're back in Wartwood, and we're back with the Wartwood set. So it's kind of cool. It feels like, thematically, we are moving along in the story, which is great. And like I said, we are officially in the second half of Amphibia now. We have watched more episodes than there are episodes left for us to watch, which is pretty wild. Um, I think by now... Again, I'm not thinking too much, but yeah, by the time this video goes up, um, yeah, by the time this video goes up, Amphibia Season 3, Part 2 will have begun, so new episodes of Amphibia will be coming out by the time you guys see this reaction, which is pretty cool as well. So you guys have new Amphibia content, and of course you still have my uh, reactions to Amphibia as I as I catch up to the series, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying Amphibia. It's been a really, really great time, and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys are as well, because it's it's been great. And this was a pretty good episode, like I said. Both parts were quite solid, and I'm excited to see what they get up to in Wartwood now that they are properly back. So I think that's really all there is to say about these. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna jump into episode 12 and see what that has in store now that, uh, Hot Pop, Sprig, Polly, and Anne are back in Wartwood. Alrighty, let's jump into Amphibia Season 2, Episode 12 and 3, 2, 1, and play. Uh, uh... Is it supposed to be Halloween themed? Or... I'm assuming that it's supposed to be Halloween. But this is... Trippy. Also, we just saw that bird finally! I didn't put that together! Oh my god, it's the bird for the opening! Yeah, definitely Halloween. Halloween episode, huh? Yo, the logo, too. That looks sick. The shut-in, huh? Alright, I'm down for a Halloween episode. Autumn, yep. Yeah. Happy shut-in. Thank you. <laughs> Stay inside, hide your eyes, give us practical supplies. Oh, you're just in time. I've got one last box of nails, and they're rusty. Ooh. Good stuff. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy shutting, kids. Happy Happy shot in. Right nice. back at ya. Oh, man, this is a workout. Explain this holiday to me again. It's not a holiday, Anne. It's the annual Blue Moon shut-in. We need the supplies to survive through the night. Huh. Well, you know, we have a similar thing in my world called Halloween. We yep. say trick-or-treat, and people give you free candy. Free candy? What's the catch? Well, if they don't give it to you, you get to play a trick on them. <gasps> that is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Hey kids, what'd y'all get for tonight? Shut in. Show me the goods. I got a hatchet. I got a first aid kit. I got a flamethrower. Damn, it actually is a flamethrower. Yeah, I think Ann wins. Holy shit, that's based. What the fuck, Ann? Been there. Gotta have the pain. The I, need a I was about to say penguin. You sure, this Pumpkin. isn't a holiday. You even have jack o' lanterns. Those are fear gourds, Anne. Fear yes, gourds, sure. huh? The shut in is dangerous for tonight. Yeah, this is a really interesting parallel. And anyone who gazes upon it becomes a hideous beast. 
And is this true or just a legend? Because sometimes it's hard to get a handle on what's real around here. No one knows, Anne. And no one wants to find out. Damn. This seems like you a guys big are really close to my face. Fear mongering right holiday over here. Whoa. So when you say shut in, you really mean it, huh? It's actually kind of nice. We sit by the fire and tell spooky stories. And Bessie hides in her shell till morning. Cool. Let's get this holiday started. It's not a holiday, Anne. Fine, okay. Shut now, in. Let's grab the rest of the decorations from the card. It's wow, they even have decorations. What the fuck? Stories, stories, stories. Remember, the stories have to have actually happened and be scary enough to remind us not to go outside. Nice. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Demon oh, shit. Oh, Holy I know. fuck. This is the first year I have one that's really scary. Let's get it, Polly. Okay. Literally, I was literally an episode that we oh, earlier in the no season. Not. Little did I know I would soon come face to face with cannibals. Yeah. Uh, Polly. We, we, we were, were there. there for that. Yeah. Oh, right. Hmm. Give me a minute. I'll come up with another one. Nice. Someone else go. Oh, I got one. Now, this oh, didn't for happen time to me, it. but it did happen to my phone. Get ready for the tale of... A virus? Oh, no. Phone what? Phone no. Phone mo. Like, and that looks like a... Fear of missing out? But oh. with your phone. I still don't me get it. Either. Try to make sense, Anne. I'll just let me tell my story. Anyway. Okay. It took place at yep, a school, at school that was like my school, but uh, not my school. What the fuck? And this story wasn't about me. It was about a different girl named, uh, Anna. Yo, Anna. Anna. What's up? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> nice. What's up, Twig? And Molly? Twig and Molly. Hey, check this out, guys. <laughs> I'm totally scared for... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and Anna, Twig, and Molly. Classic. Hilarious. Comedy has truly peaked. Yep. Sup, Patty. Sup, Brody. Oh hey, my god. Have you guys seen the latest trending cute animal video? Literally all oh, fucking. This is so Sean weird Brody. to see these human oh, versions wait, of people. I should probably tell you, people say this video is. Well, all those frogs. And everyone who watched it has mysteriously disappeared. So, ready to watch it? Uh, I don't know, guys. Is it really worth the risk? <sighs> you may be right, Twig. Yeah, or. You're you losers. Wrong. Yep. Show me the video. Maybe we can watch just a little? No, Anna. Be strong. Aww, so but look how happy they are. I said be strong. Yep. Thanks, Twig. I, for one, am glad we did I love, that I love fucking right? Anna's hair. I'm so sick of doing things just because everyone else is. Feels nice to have autonomy for a change. Autonomy, oh, wow. Time for glass. That's an interesting way to put it. It's gonna be like a weird form of pure person. No, she's just gonna secretly do it without Twig knowing. Anatomy. It's video time, baby. <laughs> Man, what even is this little gremlin? Cutest video ever. So worth it. Wow, not a single dislike or negative comment. Looks like this is the one video on the internet that everyone loves. Weird. <laughs> Very weird. That's also a good point. Yeah, it's kind of a meme. Gonna eat Literally, everyone loves it. Into a square, cause if I spit along the edges, then I don't have to share. <laughs> and they say I'm not talented. That's oh. gross, but Hi. funny. Is everything okay? Brody's gone missing. One second he was with me, the next, only his phone was there. What the fuck? You don't think the curse is real? <laughs> nah. He's probably just playing a prank on you. Right, right. It's just a prank. No, it's some. It, there's a prank going on, but I think it's being put on more people than just. What the? What the fuck? Actual demon. Actual <laughs> demon. I'm sure it's nothing. Let me know if you find Brody. No. No. So they're getting sucked into their phones. Classic. Flamingo, we can't elope. I wonder, it, I wonder if there's gonna be an episode where it's all the stories. It's gonna be like a potentially even a double link. Yeah, wow, that was that was great. Damn, this is 
twig. That was great. But Brody, Hattie, and Molly have all gone missing. The video. The curse is real. Sure looks that way. Good thing neither of us watched it, right? No, Anna, you didn't. I'm weak, okay? Don't panic. Just get rid of your phone and... <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Brody, Molly, Patty, they aren't missing. Oh, hey, help me. I've been trapped in here for 35 years. 35 years? That's, that video's been around a long time. What the hell? I do not like where this is going. Time to go in the video. I'm coming for you. Jesus fucking Christ. The demon's Stop. here. Stay away from me, you adorable beast. Take that. In that. In that. Nice. Damn. Oh my god, what the hell? It's a freaking glushy a freaking hot pop. I swear to god. If this is foreshadowing that all of this was just a fucking oh dream, gosh. or they speaking of Molly, like they got high on Molly or something. Plot twist. Mm. Nice. That would be funny. You know, now that I've got a closer look at you, you are not cute at all. Nope. Oh, dislike. A dislike. Wait a second. Did that hurt your feelings? Can't take criticism, huh? Well, in that case, bumpity bumpity bump. Dislike. Damn, that's all it takes. Uh, normally the same person, unless you're making a new account, yeah, you can't dislike a video multiple times from the and same now, account. For the final touch, a nasty comment! Worst video ever! Into the trash and go! Damn. Damn. Ew. Ew. Well, consider me traumatized. What Forever. the heck is this stuff? Hey, Chocolate. Guys, it's Boba. <laughs> That's the last time I succumb to any kind of peer pressure. Well, I should probably go reconnect with my family. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Twig, what is it? What's wrong? Guys, this crazy new burger place just opened on the haunted side of town. Everyone's doing it. Come on, let's go. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> That's badass. There's fucking eggs. Ew. The end. Not very. Oh, just a calendar alert reminding me it's Wally's birthday. Poor Wally. I'm sure he's that fine. That explains a lot. All right, Polly. Back to you. All right. Here we go. Once upon a time, an entire town got taken over by zombie mushrooms in a story I like to call well, Children of the Storm. Well, that was literally the title oh, of the episode, on. wasn't it? That story's no good either. We were there. Been there, yeah. done that. That was actually my fault. <sighs> all right, all right. Someone else go. Okay. That was I've literally the title. The scariest I believe. One yet. It's called yeah, we're Long right over. Ago, yeah, this is a, uh, a, a special, 22-minute special here. But never mind that. I had the Damn, most nice beautiful hair. thick of hair that Wartwood had ever seen. It had bounce. It had shine. It was so thick when I ran my fingers through it, my hand would get stuck. Enough about the hair. All right, all right. Jeez. So one day I picked up a very strange customer. Whoa there. Let's see here. Mr. Little Pot, I presume. Little Pot, huh? Interesting. You presume correctly. Damn, this guy looks Help. badass. Welcome aboard. Mighty obliged. We'll stop at each of these addresses in order, if you please. And when I ask you to drive on, you do so. Understood? Can do. Interesting. Now, for the matter of payment. <laughs> oh, nonsense. You can pay at the end. If you're satisfied with your service. My, oh my. An honest businessman? You are a rare sort indeed. So, what kind of business are you in? Oh, let's just say I'm in the frog business. <laughs> what the fuck? The frog business. Uh, ain't we all? <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay, stop number one. Oh, hey, this is old man Hopkins' house. Poor guy's been laid up with red leg for weeks now. Oh, I'm sure it won't ail him for much longer. 
What the fuck? Is this guy like the fucking Grim Reaper? Yeah, what the fuck? Hurt, but that's just me. <laughs> well, that was fast. Always is. On to the next one. Okay. What in the? Mr. Hopkins? Mr. Hopkins, wake up! Actual oh, uh, Grim Reaper? Can we check on him. I'm sorry, Hoppedia, but it's very important. We stay on schedule. He's literally the Grim Reaper, isn't he? Yep, old people, yep. Is that a slaughter snake? One bite from that thing can take huh? out a frog in seconds. We gotta warn that lady. Huh? Okay, good idea. You warn her and I'll watch the wagon. Nice. Ma'am! Jesus! Uh, wasting, Hoppedia. But you... I, I heard a scream. Next stop, if you please. He's the but fucking Grim Reaper. Lady, I am asking you to drive off. Are you trying to go against our agreement, Hoppedia? Mm. Yeah, are you an honest businessman or not? Boy, uh, we sure are running into a lot of bad luck today, huh? Why, it almost seems like death is following us. <laughs> following? Ironic. Or riding in the back seat. <laughs> you, I, but no, stay away from me, Frog Reaper! Frog Hoppedia, Reaper, yeah. Please don't make a fuss. I didn't do anything to those frogs. I'm like you, just taking them where they need to go. Hmm. Now, there's only one stop left. Then this money is yours. Damn. Okay. You gotta get that. Let's gotta get that here. cash uh, out. Next stop is. <sighs> no, my house. Don't take me, please. I'm here to take I'm sorry, you. Hapidaya. Time's up. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, the hair. The uh, hair. Alive? The hair. Then, wait. No. No! My hair! Oh, no. Not the hair! <laughs> oh, my God. Badass. You still got a little pot. Nice. You still got it. Holy shit! And that, children, is how I We got one my more hair. story coming. Up, up. That story was messed up. Man, that was I fucked was up. Scared. Oh, you will be. When it happens okay, to Polly, you. you got your scary story? Yes. There was a time okay. when frogs lived in fear of a monster that lurked in the woods. Scary. Now we're talking. It had a giant head. And. Spindly legs. And. and a hideous face bump. And. Ooh. And. Me? Your scary story is me? Yeah. Ugh, way to spoil the ending, Anne. Nice. Hey, commercial break me? there. I'm the monster in your story? Also, your drawing is insulting. Wow, you fuck. people are impossible to please. So we getting a oh, spring oh, story then to finish story? the episode? Yeah. Days ago, Ivy and I were playing bug ball on the old court in the woods. Wait, what's your story called? Huh? Oh, actually, I don't know. Ew. <laughs> That's a disturbing title. From downtown Bog Bottom. Nice. Rejected. Damn. Uh, don't look, don't look. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just, I really hate my hair. Well, you I like You can always, hair. like, cut Thanks. it off. Uh, all the same, I'd rather just cover it up. Now, come on. Let's go get our bug ball. Turn back. There's that's a lot of turn backs and dangers. Far. We gotta be careful. We're getting pretty. Close to the home of the seamstress. What is that with everyone doing seamstress. demon voice? Yep. The it says that she's a horrible creature who sucks the life out of any frog that trespasses on her property. That sounds hot. Use their skin to wear its clothes. Okay, That's that got a little less hot. Nobody knows. Cause she's cold. That's just an old fly's tail. <laughs> she's <Yeah>. cold. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to stay warm. Oops, broke a window. Better hope whoever lives here isn't the seamstress. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on, let's check it out. <laughs> well, no one's home. We should probably just leave. Oh, come on, this place looks deserted. Yeah, don't let's be just a... run in and get the ball. Don't be a little bitch. Know we were here. Wow. I think someone's gonna know. Yeah, I'll fix it. Just find the ball. What the fuck, Ivy? 
Spooky. Ivy gives nice. no fucks. Uh -huh. Now where could it be? Yeah, you don't look under the bed. That's Ivy, where they keep look. the porn. Break. Yes, you're right. These are very common. I'll keep looking. There's the bug ball. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, glad that's over with. Oh my gosh! Frog skins! Ah. Seamstress? What the? Sorry, I'm so sorry. sorry. We're leaving. Fresh, fresh skin, huh? Ah. Oh, fresh the skins. Damn, 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 oh. Well, if you don't want Ivy to die, you might want to fight. Ew, ripped off some of that skin. What the fuck? Oh! She's a glass frog. I've heard of this species. They're born with translucent bodies. Sprig! I know why she steals other frog skins. What? Why? I don't follow. Because she's not comfortable in her own skin. Yeah. Skin deep. Yep. Like me. I relate. Like I hate my hair. Spring down! Wow! I mean, you asshole! <laughs> Let's burn this baby uh, to the ground! What the fuck? What is wrong? Ew. Wow. What a... What a Wow, they are made for each other. A couple of little asshole kids. You look good without that. I mean it. Aw, shut up, you. <laughs> that's a very cute relationship they got. And we never saw her again. The end. We literally murdered what? her. That's the end? I have so many questions. Didn't I even get bitten? Is that thing still in the woods? Did any of those frog skins look like my friend Gabe? Oh. I haven't seen him in a while. Gabe. I, seriously, everything's fine. Oh my god. Who can that be? At this time of night. During the shut in. I'll get it. Spray no! What the fuck? Ivy? Is she trolling your ass? <laughs> the best joke ever. <laughs> wow, <laughs> they both set it up! That is how you tell a scary story. Yeah, nice. seriously. That was good. Yes, that was something we all enjoyed. Ivy, that mask. It's not. Nah, it's just burlap. Made it myself. Well, that was fun, but I better get home. Okay, just be careful out there. And don't look at the moon. <laughs> don't worry about me. I can't see a thing with this on. <laughs> oh, nice. Sorry, sir. <laughs> well, we better board this up. Wait, where's Polly? That's weird. She was just here a Polly, second ago. What, what the if fuck? she slipped out while the door was open and ran off to look at the blue moon? How about you're overreacting? Dear fam, I slipped out while the door was open and ran off to go look at the blue moon. What? <laughs> So that I can get my own scary story to tell. Love, Polly. Damn. Oh, that makes sense. That does explain okay. a lot. We have to find her before she looks at the moon and transforms into a hideous beast. Polly! Where are you? Kid, get under the umbrella. There she is! I see her! Polly! Oh, no. Don't look! <laughs> oh, no. The blue moon has possessed her! <laughs> what the fuck? Not even a little. Oh, what does this mean? The legend must be false. What a bummer. What a shocker. Now I have no scary story to tell. Trust me, Polly. Thinking the blue moon had actually got you was way scarier than any of our stories tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I, chills, I don't know about that. The monster sister would be a nightmare. That My would be funny. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Nice, no, Pop. All that was funny. Gang. Let's turn in. All right. What the? F oh my God! Fucking werewolf folly. What the? We're just ending the episode on this. Hmm. Works for me. Hey guys, guess what? The legend's true. Oh, nightmares are real. Not a holiday. Definitely not a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts to death in particular, that's pretty... Jesus Christ. That's wild. That is a wild outro card, guys. What the fuck?
Oh, I like this theme though. Hmm. Good shit. Shouts to the mouse. Whoa! Okay, buddy! That was, I guess, technically a double-length episode. Um, it's interesting, the format. It, it, it reminded me a lot, for anyone who's familiar with regular show, if you've seen regular show, um, Terror Tales of the Park. It was formatted, that, that, that Halloween episode was formatted very similar to Terror Tales of the Park, for anyone who's seen... Um, regular show that's definitely the vibes i got from that episode kind of the segmented scary story uh kind of gimmick very very terror tales of the park-esque but that was really fun a halloween themed episode of course we're about as like as far away from halloween as possible i'm recording this in mid-march it's like literally about as far as you could get away from the previous or next halloween as possible but uh, yeah, cause it's March, it's, uh, the night of March 13th, 2022, when I'm recording this, which is, like, so far away from October on both, both sides, but, um, nevertheless, that was a really nice Halloween episode, really fun stuff, I enjoyed the stories, um, Anne's story was pretty fun, I did enjoy that, I thought it really cool to see all the human designs of, of various, uh, amphibia characters and also the, the the there was also the hot pop plushie with like which i thought was really cute so i thought that was really cool how it was like took place in the human world but was just a made-up story obviously using uh characters of the characters from amphibia which i thought was really cool um of course we had um hot pop story which was great we had a frog reaper which was awesome that that was a really cool thing he was just riding him to his destinations where he was uh taking their souls or whatever that was like really cool i thought that was really like um that was a really nice idea that they put together i really liked i really liked that i thought that was really awesome and uh yeah that was really cool and then we also got the episode with uh we also got the episode with um the Sprig, uh, the Sprig tale, which was, of course, the deep skin with the seamstress with Sprig and Ivy. Very cool. Obviously in a story format, but very cool to see Sprig and, Ivy, uh, Sprig and Ivy together and interacting and being adorable together. I really liked that. Uh, I'm enjoying the fact that, you know, to get to see the two of them together really enhances the experience of seeing them as a couple and, like, doing things. And I really hope... That we get to see their date. I really hope that maybe in one of the remaining episodes of this set, maybe we even get the Sprig and Ivy date. I think that would be a great concept for an episode, and I think you could do a lot of cute stuff with that that I'd really enjoy to see. So that would be fun. Um, but yeah, that was a really, really nice episode all around, and of course we had the stuff with uh, Polly at the end there. That was very cute. But just a good, wholesome Halloween episode that was really fun. Um, I like how they used the 22 minutes on it. Like, they were just like, yeah, we're just gonna do a nice proper Halloween episode. It was the full episode of the set, which was nice. And, uh, yeah, now that we were back in Wartwood, it was the perfect time to drop the Halloween episode. So, I think that was, uh, very well placed as far as its structure in relation to the season. I think that was the perfect place to place a Halloween episode. And, uh, yeah, we still have two more episodes in the set. No idea how many segments we've been hit with another random double length, albeit this was a little different because this was a Halloween special, but nonetheless still a very cute episode of Amphibia and a very enjoyable episode of Amphibia. I appreciated that episode quite a bit, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it as much as I did. I thought that was a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see what else they get up to now that we're past this Halloween special, again getting back to quote-unquote normality in Wartwood. Although I imagine that's not the case. I'm still really hoping for another Sasha episode. I wouldn't mind more updates on what on Marcy's prep as well. That would be cool. But I, I more want to see Sasha because we got a lot of Marcy in the last set. So, But I really need more Sasha. And um, yeah, we'll see where this goes. So uh, that was a really fun episode of Amphibia. So let's check out Season 2, Episode 13. All right. Let's jump into Amphibia Season 2, Episode 13, in 3, 2, 1, and play. 
Bop, 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 bop. All right, Amphibia, let's get it. Let's see what we got. Ivy on the run. Okay, so Ivy episode. Let's get it. Gloria, Joe. So it looks like we might get a Spring and Ivy episode here if it's Ivy on the run. This is Ivy's, yeah, this is definitely Ivy's bedroom. Hi, yeah. Nice. Think you can sneak up on me, alarm bug? I've been awake for hours! Crazy. <laughs> Damn. She's insane. <laughs> Excuse me, young lady. Where do you think you're going? Meet and spring for some glitter bug hunting. I told you last night, remember? I remember saying you had to finish your chores first. Aww. Now let's see how good a job you did. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? A uh, plate? A filthy plate. And just look at these napkin swans. Their necks are looking pretty sad. Damn. Oh, come on, Mom. They're good enough. They most certainly are not. Now fix your shoddy work, or you aren't going anywhere, young lady. But, Mom, I'm gonna be late. Up, up, up. Should have thought of that before you rushed your chores. <gasps> Heavens, that'll be the morning rush. Come on in, everyone. Oh, Mr. Pedersen, is that a new scar? <sighs> Hello, Ivy. Uh, how's it hanging, Ivy? Down. Mm. Oh, Ivy. Sorry, didn't see you there. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, fuck. Oh. Hey, Ivy. I wasn't here talking to myself, that's for sure. <laughs> uh huh. Well, sorry I'm late. My mama's on my case again. It's so annoying. I'm sure you're really gonna run away from home, Ivy. Muay Thai! Muay Thai! Muay Thai! What the fuck? Muay Thai! Muay Thai! We're Muay thai You're what? The girl, it's she. Traditional Thai martial arts. Yep. My mom enrolled me in a class when nice. she realized how. I spirited I Yeah, yeah, I'll I can tell see. you what I need, what I really, really, really need. need. Yep. You know what mommy really needs? You, out of her kitchen. Dad's <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna teach me some the sweet tie as well. You guys wanna join? Oh man, that sounds awesome. But Sprig and I can't. We're about to go glitter bug hunting. Moi Thai! Moi Thai! Moi Thai! Now let's catch some bugs. Okay. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Nice one. So tell me more about your adventures on the road. I want to hear all the details. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> well, they really looked up to me in Biddyburg. And Ribbit Vale was crazy ritzy, but I fit right in. I pretty much have friends in every town from here to Newtopia. Ah, oh, your trip sounds amazing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I've never even been out of Wartwood. Well, next time I head out of the valley, maybe you can come with me. I mean, if you want, no big deal. Nice. Heck yeah, I do. <gasps> Check it out! Oh Jesus Christ, that's a sparkly right, boy. Time for the super net. Ah! Ready? One, Damn. two, three. Ivy, undo. Ah! No, come back! Ivy, you're late for your tea ceremony lessons. Uh, but Mom, me and Sprig just got started. Don't fuck Mom, me. Come home this instant. That's a pretty funny form of a phone. Ah! <laughs> Damn, get wrecked. She's so cool. Oh, you okay. you are a submissive well, one, aren't you? Oh my god, the music. Is all about Enough time! Ah! Ow! What? How did you? You're too eager. My instructor always used to tell me, Jai Yin Yin. It means to have patience and a cool heart. Yeah, yeah you're just gonna get wrecked. Ouch. Yeah, you uh, it, 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 Yeah, any form of uh you know, martial art is kind of based off of those same principles, whether you're talking like... Holy cow, Wally! You're pretty good at this! You see this right here, Wally? This is what you should be doing! Yeah, you're just way too... you're not chill enough. First, we need to evaluate your attention to like detail. Like water. Now, this was my table set in from this morning. And this was yours. What's wrong with it? There's no difference! You're just missing that extra something-something. It's the details that count, Ivy. Now, I'll demonstrate. 
Then you follow. We'll start with folding the swan napkins. <sighs> we all have our off Our necks are course. always ah. fallen. Next, let's steep the tea. <laughs> Careful! Don't break my frog china. Oh, shoot, did I leave a kettle on? Oh, we'll deal with that in a bit. Oh my god. Now for my favorite That's frog. great, the kettle Changes sound effect. Ivy, if you're gonna do things halfway, we'll just have to start over. That does it! I don't wanna do any of this boring, frilly garbage. I wanna travel the yeah, world. Yeah, she's too I'm she's too badass adventures. to be a tea the time thing girl. That's garbage is your attitude, young lady. Damn. A nice cup of oolong will cure that right up. Do you care about anything? Tea! You just don't get me, Mom! Oh shit! And of course she's clutch as fuck. Holy shit! Moy Thai, more like Moy Tea. Holy fuck! I gotta get out of here. Venture waits for no one. Posters it's on literally my wall. your posters. Are you trying to tell me something? Wow. Well, I can't just leave. There has to be another way. Do it, coward! Well, Just argue with that do one. it! That was a freaking oh my god, Shia LaBeouf meme almost. Whoa, how'd I do that? Huh? Ivy? Come on, Sprig. You and I are leaving the valley tonight. What? You said you had friends in every town from here to Newtopia, right? Uh, yeah, but great, you can be my guide. Let's go! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just like grabbing him, like like fuck it, we're doing this. <laughs> Sprig's like, what the fuck? This is not a good idea. Freedom! No more tea, no more swan napkins. Just me, you, and the open road. Oh. <coughs> I mean, hypothetically, what if I was exaggerating about how much of an Outer Valley expert I was? Abby, the biscuit's much of sundew. Wow. You come home this instant. You're in big trouble, young lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mom? Me and Sprig are running away and leaving Wartwood for good. So there! Uh, oh, she was you right kids there. are in big trouble. Ah! I love how Spring just got dragged into this too. Yeah! Not bad, Polly, but you still lack ah! patience. This nice. is impossible. I'll learn how to fly before I learn. Ah! Oh, hey, thanks. I'm nice. Sundew. I've had it with your disobedience. Well, I've had it with your nitpicking, your rules, and your tea lessons. Oh, I can't believe I have raised such an ungrateful and disrespectful daughter. Damn. Oh yeah. Well then, maybe I don't even want to be your daughter. Oh, there's the line. <gasps> Sorry, it's just I want to see the world, you know, get my hands dirty, learn martial arts, things like that. Martial arts, eh? Fine. You don't have to take tea lessons anymore. If you can beat me in a martial arts fight, three rounds, and you what only need to win one. What? Seriously? Me against you? <laughs> this is gonna be easy. Is it though? You might be underestimating mommy a little bit. Is it a coincidence that that belt, quote unquote, is black? <laughs> Must have been a lucky dodge. No. Here I come. No. No, she's like super graceful and like can... What the fuck? Oh my god! Huh? And Felicia gets the boat! Round one to Felicia! Whoa! It was the only touch. Moves? Oh, picked him up on my travels. Travels? <laughs> <My> travels! <laughs> Bro! No! It's the third and final round. Whoever wins this wins it all. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> tisk tisk. Shouldn't have rushed in. Now you're getting it. Yeah. Finish it. Fold the swan napkin. Huh? I said, fold the swan napkin. Of course. <laughs> I got free! But now sift the tea! 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this Miyagi shit? Karate kid up in this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all right. Do it. Round three to Ivy. Nice. Where did you learn those moves? I was a little bit of an adventurer myself back in the day. Where do you think my exotic selection of teas comes from? It makes sense. My frog china. It makes sense. I, I had no idea. Ivy, you think I don't see you, but I do. You want to travel the world, and I get it. But you have to be patient, because it's dangerous out there. And I just sure. want you to be ready before we go. <gasps> before we, we go? Mm -hmm. All of these tea exercises were to prepare Aww. you for when I take you on my next tea gathering adventure. Aww. You're the best mom ever! Mm. I still can't believe you used to be some kind of world traveler. <laughs> oh, honey. You used to be. Where do you think I met your father? Mom, please! Well... I guess our no, work here is done. That wasn't yeah, actually not, gross, no to be honest. What's going on? Hey, yeah, when Polly? does when does Wally yeah. ever know what's going on? You all? Uh, is the eye gonna open? Is this That was technically your fault. Yeah. There's a good chance he won't remember this. Or no, he just knocked out. Okay, okay. That that that's that's also an option. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow, right on cue, I get my wall, I mean, so I was about to say Wally episode, my fucking, uh, Ivy episode, and we got one that, you know, did have a little bit to do with Sprig, but that was a very Ivy-centric episode, focusing on her sauce, like, what she's about and stuff, which I really liked, it was a really good episode, honestly... Maybe my favorite episode of the set so far, I mean, the Halloween episode was really fun. Really, I've enjoyed every episode of this set. I mean, I really liked the Return to Wartwood episode. Uh, the first episode was good as well. But I think this might have actually been my favorite episode. I really like the dynamic between Ivy and her mother and, you know, kind of like how the, the, the combination of the tea thing and how it was all kind of linked to the to the to the martial arts and all that that was pretty cool and yeah i mean that whole episode just felt very sweet it was just a sweet like mother daughter episode i really appreciated that and ivy is great like she is without a doubt one of the best frogs in work with 100 percent. she she's awesome so uh yeah i really i really liked that episode i thought that episode was uh really really cool and um really enjoyable it was it was a really fun episode with a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff in it. Now that, that episode really kind of it felt good. It felt good watching that episode. So the next episode is called After the Rain. So I, I wonder um, this could. I mean that that's very that's an interesting title because that's very vague. That could be. I mean, af I mean, it's obviously referring to after the rain, but what after the rain? I mean, unless it's more metaphorical, as in kind of like you know, like, weathering the storm and, like, what comes after, like, you know, re reaching the light or something. Maybe it could be in a more metaphorical sense. Knowing this show, I would kind of expect it to be maybe in a literal and metaphorical sense, to where there's literal rain, but it also does have that double meaning of, of more metaphorical uh, meaning as well. That would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see, but I think that would be pretty cool if they go in a direction like that, but we'll have to see how, um, how that plays out. That would be really cool regardless though. Definitely looking forward to this, but, uh, yeah, just to just talk a tiny bit more about, uh, 13A. That was, uh, that was a fun episode of Amphibia. Really good stuff. This has been a really fun set. I've really enjoyed season two. Pretty much every episode in season two has been at least good, if not really good, or if not, like, awesome. Um, I still think the peak of the series, nothing's topped the season one finale for me yet. I still think, I, I don't think any of the episodes in season two have necessarily been as good as the season one finale, but the level of consistently good episodes in season two has been awesome. Like, I think the show is just so enjoyable, and that's where I think Amphibia really shines, and it's blending a narrative thread into it but it's a very simple story and i really enjoy that so um yeah not a lot to say but uh let's check out episode 13 b of amphibia after the rain all right janava kyler let's get it 
You guys, check it out! I got a mail fly message! Look how cute he is! Is this from uh, Marcy? I'm jealous. I never get mail. Open it, open it! It's from Marcy! She yep. says we're ready to travel to the first temple! All Come right! Oh, she even included a checklist of things to bring! Nice! Food, weapons. Check! Double check! Ah! Jumpy little fella. Cool! What else? Armor! Armor? Got it covered. Believe it or not, I made each of you your very own suit of armor. What the oh. fuck? Oh. Oh, I'm down! Hands down! Hop, hop! Ugh, this is the opposite of a suit of armor! Exactly. Less mobility means less trouble. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Anne, anything else on that list? Oh, yeah, just one more thing. The music box! Yeah! The music box. No problem. My contacts will have it ready by tomorrow. Great! You're the best. <laughs> yeah, and you have to secretly to dig it up. Ah, too excited to sleep. Sounds like someone else can't sleep either. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Classic old oh, pop no! Pop I'm gonna give that nerd a little scare. Music box, it's gone. What? Uh oh. Uh, Anne, what are you doing here? Did you just say the music box is gone? That's exactly what he said. I can't lie anymore. I buried the box here, and now it's missing. Wait, what? But you said your contacts were. There gonna... were no contacts. I read the box was dangerous. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. You gotta understand. I was just a yeah, box to of calamity. So you've been lying to me this entire this whole time. time? Yeah. No. This is the episode where it all blows up. No, it isn't. Holy I shit! Need the music box to get home, and you buried it under a tree. What are you trying to do? Keep me here forever? Oh, <gasps> that's it, isn't it? You sicko! No, <laughs> it's not like that. It, it just—I've lost so much already, and stop. <sighs> okay, Son and daughter. I don't know who the step, uh, who the in-law was, but you know, uh, Sprig and Polly's parents. I see you. Holy shit! The I lost so much already. I'd love to know more about that. Maybe we'll get that in time. Quest, 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 quest. S and P. I just quest. realized salt and pepper. <laughs> Hop Holy Jesus. Okay? I really mucked it up this time, kids. I lied to Anne about the music box. I buried it under the tree out front. What? Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> I to dig it up last night. It was gone. Anne saw the whole thing and ran off. I've been waiting here all night for her to come back. Jesus. Yeah, this is serious shit. Look, Hop Hop, I don't know why you did what you did, but you gotta fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. Anne back. <laughs> what the fuck? You're right. I caused this mess, so dang it, I'm gonna clean it up. Hell yeah! Yeah! And then I'm gonna clean that up. Yeah, it's something else to clean later. Don't well, step over there, guys. This is a guys. bummer. We gotta find that music box or Anne will never forgive him. Right on! Let's motor, bro bro! Yeah, and there's other reasons why you guys really want that music box. What the fuck? There's other reasons why you want that music box, because if it is a box of calamity, which it seems like it is. Clues to which way she um... I still have the theory that the calamity just the refers. Sunglasses teen magazine. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, sounds about right. <sighs> and was here, nice. In this cave again. Not since the planters took me in. Ah, oh, this was the same was cave. Me, Rocky. Sweet, sweet, dependable Rocky. Oh, Rocky. Yeah, I just can't take you seriously with that hair. Yeah, you're going slightly crazy. All right, maybe someone in town has seen the music box. Whoa. My veggies. Um, what the fuck? Archie! Hey, Maddie, what's going on? Someone dug a bunch of holes and stole stuff from everyone in town. I even lost a talisman oh. that, if it fell into the wrong hands, would bring an end to all living. I've said too much. Who would you <coughs> oh, what the, the fuck? Holes in the ground, eh? 
And missing valuables too. The best characters Sounds back. Like the work of the magpie beetle. Never you gotta stop popping out of bushes, Soggy Joe. The magpie beetle is a rare magpie breed of insect beetle, huh? that lives underground. Every 20 years it burrows to the surface and steals junk to make its shell. It presents that shell to prospective mates in a ritual called the Love Nado Dance. Love Nado Dance. A spectacle much too dangerous to observe. Wow. You really should hear the rest of this. Yeah, you you guys are gonna all you guys might die because you didn't listen to the rest of the story. Fred, look! Soggy Joe was right! There's a burrow off to the side! Come on! Think this'll lead us to the box? There's only one way to find out. Time to go in. I mean, obviously finding the box is important, but I really am more excited to see the interaction between Hot Pop and Anne and how it we? goes. Oh no! Sprig! We're right smack dab in the middle of the Lost NATO! Maybe we should have listened to the end of Saki Joe's thing. Ah! Wow. Okay, the music box has to be here somewhere. Whoa! We have to find it! Whoa! <laughs> Yay, nice. Goggles on. All right, I'm going for it. Wait, Sprig, no! Ah! 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 Ew. We're going to start wearing you guys as, um, shells. I thought I knew him, you know? But he was lying to me the whole time. Pretty much. Make bobby pins. Ah! Nice. Oh, it's you. Go away. Please, Ann. Just let me explain. I am not talking to you right now, Hop Pop. If that's even your real name. It's not. Oh wait, Hop Pop's a nickname. Yeah, Hop and Diet Planter. Know why I hid the music box? It's dangerous. I was just trying to protect the family. Then why did you lie? Well, because there's something I've never told you. Something hard to talk about. Oh shit. My my son or daughter the truth is. God damn it! No! Sprig, Polly. Fucking Sprig and Polly, you guys have to get in trouble. I want to hear this. It's some kind of love monsoon. That's exactly what it is, actually. And we have to work together. Work with you? Not gonna happen. I'll save them myself. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> Please, Anne, I know I lied to you, but trust me, at least long enough to save the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yo, teamwork. Frog and human combination. That is so disgusting. That ass, though. Yo, the box. I can get a fling him. Holy crap. Yo! Oh, wow. Not sure that's how that would work, but. That was amazing! I can't believe we did it! Yeah, we did. And now, we're through here. Damn, man. Man, no! Where will you go? I'll go stay with someone who isn't a liar. I don't know. Maybe Loggle? He seems like a street shooter. Damn. And wait, let me at least explain. Yeah, what let's hear about right, your son or daughter and yet. step. Er, you want to say step in law? Sprig and Polly's parents. Here we go. Here we go. Pop, pop. That wasn't your fault. Oh it shit! Was a few years ago, I was on a journey when the Herons attacked Wartwood. Sprig and Polly survived, but their parents Jesus. weren't so lucky. And the way that the way this is drawn. If I'd just been there, I know things would have been different. Ever since then, I swore I'd never let my family down again. That Damn. I'd do anything to protect them. Damn. So when I found out the box was dangerous, I lied to you and hid it away. I thought I was protecting my family. But now I realize how foolish it was. You're my family too. Aww. And I've let you down. I let us all down. I'm sorry. I'm oh. sorry. I'm just so sorry. Oh, Hot Pop. You are my favorite planner for a reason. Huh? Hot 
up, I forgive you. Reconciliation! Okay, calm down. Jesus Christ. After the rain, huh? Is the rain about to stop? Yeah, I was gonna say the rain's gonna stop because the episode was called After the Rain. For as long as I can remember. And look. Calamity box? Eesh, that does sound bad. Yeah, not exactly comforting. I guess all we can do now is wait for Marcy. Yeah. Guys, I hate to say it, but this temple quest may be more dangerous than we thought. Well, Ann, think this gang can handle it? After today, I'm pretty sure this gang can handle anything. Yo, the steam. The OST. You, sure you don't want to wear the puffy suits? Pop, pop. Okay, yeah, okay, that's going to do more it. harm than good. Yo! Okay, next episode's a double length, I bet. I'm betting money. Next episode's a double length after that. There's going to be the temple run. It's almost certainly going to be the temple run. Holy fuck, guys. What an episode. Well, I have a new favorite episode of the set, unsurprisingly. After the Rain was definitely the best episode. This, um... Episode 13, man, holy shit. Incredible, incredible episode between the Ivy segment, Ivy on the Run, and After the Rain. What a pair. Um, what a great episode overall. Wow, that might be one of the best episodes of the series. We talk like 22-minute episodes between those two segments. I mean, the A segment was really strong, and the B segment was really strong okay um that was after the rain season two episode 13 b of amphibia and it was like i said one of the better episodes of the series um that was really really good we got a we got the we finally got the reveal that um we've been waiting for for quite a while and finding out that hot pop lied about the uh the calamity box and lie and all that was bs and she um she found out the truth that he buried it and then they had to find it and it created a rift between ann and hot pop the only thing i'll say about that it led to a great episode that had that great payoff of um Hapadaya mentioning Sprig and Polly's parents, and it was a really emotional moment. We've had two mentions of their parents now, because we had another really emotional moment where um, Sprig and Anne talked about their respective moms, and I thought that was a really cool moment. This was a really cool moment where we got um, uh, commentary on uh, Sprig and um, Polly's parents and uh, how they died and, and that stuff, which was really good. I, I really enjoyed that. Thought that was a really heartfelt moment. I would say the only thing I'm not... I don't mind it. I don't have a problem with it, but I am maybe slightly disappointed in the fact that this was kind of built up to be a big plot point. The um, the Calamity Box and like the lie, um, Hot Pop's lie. And while it built to what was clearly a big episode, this was clearly a big episode for various reasons... It feels a little, like, sudden for all of it to get resolved in the same episode it's brought up. I don't mind, because it was really well done. I thought this episode was fantastic. But at the same time, it is a little disappointing for that to get resolved so quickly. And I would love there to be some sort of, potentially some sort of narrative beat, story beat, in the future that lends itself to this moment. But we'll see. Probably not, but I imagine we're going to get into some really wild stuff. We're starting to get deep into season two. We're well over halfway through season two now. And I am, I'm not, I wouldn't bet money necessarily, but I'm pretty confident that 14 is going to be a double length. It's going to be Marcy, Ann, and the Planters going to the first temple, probably learning some, having some big reveals and whatever. Maybe they're going to hold this off. Uh, but the way they're structuring this, it's clear that we're not waiting until the season two finale. This is clearly happening before the season two finale, which makes it look like it is going to happen next episode, which most likely means that season two, episode 14 is probably going to be, I guess, technically the third double length episode of the season since episode 12 was like a 22 minute episode, albeit just for a Halloween special. Really, I would say the second uh, 22 minute and the third of the series with the season one finale and season two, episode six if I am right about this, but I feel pretty confident about the fact that the next episode most likely will be one episode as opposed to two 11-minute segments.
But uh, yeah, that was an awesome episode. Episode 13, definitely my favorite episode of the set so far. And uh, 13B in particular being my favorite like segment of the set. That was fantastic. Really, really enjoyed that. A lot of great emotion between Hot Pop and Anne, who are my two favorites of the, the Planter family, so to speak. Uh, I think Anne and Hot Pop are pretty close for my favorite. And then I'd probably go... I don't know, Polly and Sprig are both, like, pretty even for me. And then Hot Pop Hot Pop and Anne are pretty even for me. And my favorite character, you guys know, is Sasha, followed closely by Marcy. There's a lot of the, um, my third favorite character, maybe, might be, might be, uh, One-Eye Willie. I'm not sure. There's a lot of, there's a lot of fun. I really like Ivy. I really like Maddie. Um, I like Anne, and I like Hot Pop a lot. I think those are all the potatoes, um... I mean, there's been some cool potatoes, but, uh, oh, I totally forgot about Grime. Grime is one of my favorite characters for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, Hop Pop and Anne are my two favorite of like the main, like the planter family. Hop Pop and Anne are my favorites. So I really, you know, having that type of thing between those two characters, especially that's some fire stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that and I'm really excited to see where we go with episode 14 and what what reveals we run into and just generally where this goes it's going to be nice to see marcy again I, I i kept saying i wanted sasha uh i think it's interesting because last we know grime and sasha were talking about taking over like newtopia or something but if we get to a scenario where we could get sasha in this episode too and maybe even have the reunion between the three of them and marcy and sasha that would be insane I'm getting the vibe we're not going to get Sasha, though, in the next episode, so I'm kind of resigned myself to the fact that I'm not really expecting to see her, but whatever happens, happens. I'm really hyped for episode 14. I'm really hyped to go to the temple, see what happens, and just see where this goes, and see what they potentially learn about the Box of Calamity, and what they learn about uh, just generally what's going on with uh, the humans that were sent to this world through the, the music box, and uh, yeah... Let's get it. And, and that's the other thing, too. We got the, like, magic or whatever the deal is with them as well because we've had, like, the glow. The glow with, um... The glow. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it the glow, but it's, like, the magic glow or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be. That we've discussed a little bit before. And you guys have informed me has been going on the entire fucking time. Uh, but, yeah, I'm definitely really excited for, uh to see where this all goes with uh, our our uh, lovely cast of characters in the land of Amphibia. Let's get it. Next episode, last episode of the set, probably a double length too. Alrighty, let's jump into season two, episode 14 of Amphibia in three, two, one, and play. Oh shit. Yep, double length, double length. What's it called? What's it called? The First Temple. Ooh, Adam. Tom. Jesus Christ, everybody on the storyboard. Jen and Kyler, let's get it. Oh, it's a double length. No opening, too. Double length, no opening, yep. Why didn't anyone tell me sooner? Wow. Chocolate pea pancakes. What's going on? I thought you kids deserved a treat. Jesus Christ, after. that's a lot. Well, you lied and buried the music box, causing Anne to almost leave the family forever. <gasps> <gasps> Boy, am I glad Anne forgave you. Some people would carry the scars of that betrayal for life. Not you two, though. <laughs> oh my God. Iceberg. What? Yeah, it's awkward. <laughs> I hope you like pancakes. <laughs> I, I made oh the my God. From scratch, you know. It been up since the crack of dawn mixing. Oh, great. This is awkward. I'll get it. Oh, thank frog. Yeah, thank frog indeed. Huh? Marcy. Uh, ah, monster all that's missing is Marcy. Wait, huh? There ah, she is. Family? Marcy. What the fuck, Marcy? <laughs> Clumsy as ever. Thanks, everyone. I finished my preparations for the war. Is this your house? 
What's so rustic and cute? When was it built? Third century? No, 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 no. Second. Yes, of course. Okay, when it was at... Hey, hey, marbles. Big news? <laughs> oh, marbles. right. I finished nice. my prep and we're ready for the first temple. No way. Yeah, this awesome. episode's even called the first. I wonder if they're each going to be called the first, the second, the third, the first, the second, the last. Whatever. Sorry, sorry. Long flight, a lot of pent-up energy. Anyway, music box. Good thing she didn't show up a few days ago, am I right? You need to stop. Here you go. Okay, if my studies are correct, then... Yo. Yo. Whoa. Here you go, bud. Oh, uh, I better not. Hmm? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, yeah, we it, 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 I already, I already like that Come episode on, a little more that they're Joe? still showing scars from what happened. <laughs> Joe Sparrow, oh my God, Joe Sparrow. Damn, he worked in it. Holy Please shit. Oh, Joe Sparrow's worked in it. You go. Oh, pardon me. Pretty cramped up here, huh? Oh, uh, uh, so where do I sit? Damn, damn. Sucks to suck, bro. Holy fuck. That so, looks like fun, but research, Jesus. These three ancient temples are filled with difficult challenges to keep out the unworthy. All we have to do is complete the challenges, and then we can charge the stone. Nifty. So, what kind of challenges are we talking? This first temple is said to specifically challenge your intelligence. So, I'm pretty sure it's full It's of the Marcy. No frog, toad, or newt in history has been able to survive it. Oh, God. Uh... But so it's designed worry, for Marcy. None of them were. So Marcy each, Wu, yeah. Man of the chess club, master RTS player, straight A student, except for Jim. But RTS. Only for reading in class, which only proves my point. That's all. What is Marcy. RTS? But be careful. When you get this into something, I actually don't know what RTS means. True. Yep, the switch. Oh totally God, not man. switch. I'm about to beat my all-time record. I'm so happy for you, Marcy. Ah, let me down, Marcy. Help. Wow. Breaking news. 500 snakes have escaped from... Wait, is that a middle school student? Marcy! No! That was the worst Saturday of my life. That's called... That was all zone, one day! Man. It's pretty much my superpower. Jesus. Okay, okay. Just don't So, each of the gems, yep, yeah, each of them, it's going to be oh, their respective color, like their respective guys, uh, power, Polish their respective, spray. like, what? trait. They're like the three chosen you know, ones of legend, right? Like Sasha, that. Ann, and Marcy. Now you get you, you got your wish, bro. I'm nice. Upside down. Yes, you are. <laughs> that reminded me of me. I'm in everyone. danger. Home to the first temple. Ew. Oh. Creepy woods. Whoa, what are these things? Gyrometra esculenta, also known as brain mushrooms. Hey, yeah, they do look hey, like brains. A forest full of brains so for the intelligence temple? Kind of on the nose, don't you think? A little Speaking too of much. temples, I think you way overhyped this place. No, no, no. That's the temple. <gasps> Yo, zoom out. Zoom out, please. There we go. Oh my god. So, what's this then? Bathroom. It's yeah. An yeah, of course. I just went in between uh, 13 and this episode. Not to the outhouse, but you could. All right, guys, let's do this thing. Oop, sorry about that. After you, dude. Oh no no no! A after you, my dear. Uh, oh, don't be silly. Oh my I god! Oh my god! Mistrust, things. awkward no, mistrust. Uh, Did something happen? Don't ask. You really don't want to know. Oh, that's a human with a sword! Don't press that! God damn it. Here. Or maybe we were supposed to, although... Oh, shit, I guess we were supposed to... Oh, Rubik's Cube. Did I learn an entire dead language just for today? You better believe I did. I Let's bet you see. did. Keeper of the box, one strong of mind. Three trials await that will return the stone's shine. Hey, looks like there's three trials, guys. There's always three trials. It's always three. We go. Three trials, three temples, three girls. A dead end. Well, we tried our best, and that's what counts. Hey, come on! There's a puzzle here somewhere. Everyone, look for clues. Dude, Dan looks so bored in that shot. There's the Rubik's hey, Cube. Hey, guess who found the puzzle? Whoa! Whoa! 
Look, helpers. A cursed cube. It's a Rubik, by put, Rubik's no, cube. It's the puzzle. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a magnetic field holding her up. Isn't that what I said? Well, whatever it is, all yours, marbles. Oh. Ah. Nice. Whoa. This thing's got like a zillion permutations. If this temple thinks it can beat me, it's got another thing coming. Yeah, it's a Rubik's cube, essentially. Uh, guys. Oh, Jesus. Uh, anyone else tasting chocolate bean pancakes? And Marcy's going to be in the zone. Can you at least let us know what you're going to move before you move it? <laughs> no, she's in the zone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, you I'm broke it and everything. Yeah. What the fuck? Wow, Anne, you weren't kidding about uh, her in the zone. Alone. Yep. Not to mention she's a tad overconfident. Hard to argue with the results. Though. I mean, she literally never fails, but she's probably gonna struggle with the third trial or something. Or is the oh, second hey, and third trial cool. built for different Not people? Quite. Watch. This is like one of the most classic video game tricks. Like, yeah, they took the Jesus. Christ. Whoa, not getting good vibes from this Unless room. you, unless you want barbecue frog. Thanks for playing, everyone. Hold on, gang. Look. More ancient dead language writing. A dangerous room. What to do? Don't be jealous of my hue. Huh? Who's hue? Hmm. I wonder... Color. Okay. Okay, so pink is death by flame. Blue's death by crushing. I'm still not following. Horsey! Ah! Ooh. Ha! Solved it! Okay, guys, listen up. Green is the safe color. Get it? Uh... Don't be jealous of my hue. It's a reference to green, the color of envy. Ah! ah. Naturally, I have a lot of green friends who would find green that Green with offensive. envy? But green with envy is the phrase. Open, then? Looks like this is a two-person job. Is someone go stand on the other green square? Marmar, are you sure? Yeah, how do we know that one isn't some kind of trap door? With spikes in it! Not helping, Polly. You just Guys, believe in her. I've done the research. Plus, it's me, remember? I said I won't let you down, and I meant it. Now who wants to hit that button? Who trusts her, Anne? Anne. I'll do it. Wow. Excuse me? And no, I'll do it. The whole point of this is to get you home alive. I've already had a good life. What the no, fuck? Pop, pop. I'll step on I the trust title. Mars. This it's is my quest. quest. It's my yeah. responsibility. It makes Your sense. Yeah. This, this is so safe. great. This Not is making 13B uh -oh. even better that this is playing into this. I care about you too, Anne. Yep. I mean, to an extent, right? You kind of proved that when you buried the music box. Now, hold on. That's unfair. Listen, Hop Pop. When push came to shove, you made a choice. It's fine, but let's stop pretending I'm part of the family, okay? Damn. Huh. Uh, Damn. Everything okay over there? It's awkward. Can someone please hit the button? Gladly. And a one. And a two. And a Damn, one. man! Damn. Jesus! Ah. Oh, yeah, get off that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off the green, please. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> She has trauma. The trauma and now the rest become green. That's epic. That's really cool. That's really cool. Woo! What did I tell ya? Do we this need three for the final one? Consider the stone charged, baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That second one seemed Amber. way easier than the first I think I one. An eyebrow. Cool. Nice. Hmm. Aww. Oh, this leads to the top floor. That means there's only one puzzle left. Yep. Come on, team! Yep. And I told you I was oh, gonna step on these that two. Side. And I told you I didn't want you to. Aww. Hey, we kind of need to be a team in here so we don't die so... I don't understand, Anne. I thought you forgave me. Yeah, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, yeah, what this is know? great. This, this is, is exactly what I wanted. All, it can make the last puzzle pretty rough. Eh, I'm sure they'll work it out by the time we get there. She's too in the zone. Mm. Auto zone. Oh wow, what so fucking Spongebob card dice! Nice. Not one thing! Nothing's coming to mind! Man, this is a long one day. hour yeah. later. Here we are! The final puzzle! Oh, I'm so excited! They're literally still arguing. Guys, feel the vibe! Thank you. 
Now, where was I? Few have the brains to make it to this door, but are you wise enough to solve what's in store? Yep, let's go. Yeah, this is where this is where Marcy's gonna fail. <gasps> Looks like chess. I don't believe it. It's Flipwort. <gasps> or Flipwort. It's Flipwort. It's a strategy game I learned to play in Utopia. It's like chess, but to the max. I got so good at it, I even beat King Andreas. Impressive. They say King Andreas is one of the best flipwort players around. So, both sides have a wart, right? And they're trying to yeah. flip it. Sure. Each piece has a different set of abilities. These archers I are bet the fandom's the already made their own oh, games. I love this game! Hmm. Hey, Marcy, what does this say? Any commander whose wart falls may never again set foot inside these temple walls. Looks like you only get one shot at this. One shot is all I need. Oh, but Jesus. First, to set up the board. Well, I guess we'll just sit back quietly and watch. Yeah, it'll be nice to sit this She's one gonna out. She's going to lose. These flippers be tired. She's going to lose. Oh, Jesus. Bobby! A giant flipboard board? Oh my god, it's like Holy oh my god, god, it's like Harry Potter. Oh, it's literally Harry Potter. Oh, and you can't sacrifice the pieces or you die. We don't have a choice, Anne. You want to get home. Oh, this is Harry Potter. Totally a Harry Potter reference. And she's like the commander. Trust me, okay? Okay. I hope you know what you're doing. I get a scepter. Nice. <laughs> Is Anne gonna be the queen? Oh man. Yeah, suck. Get ready, Anne. There's a good chance you're next. Is it gonna be the queen or the equivalent of the queen? No. No. Oh, looks like I'm not in the game. Well, you guys have fun, I guess. Wait. What? Wait, what? And no! Traitor! No, this is good. I'll just play badly and sabotage the no, other team. No, you're not going to be able to. You're Take not going to be able to do that. Here we go. Sabotage. No, no, you're going to be. Yeah. Okay, I can't move. And what's going on? Only the commander can move them. The player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't we're worry, really everyone. doing this. It's the fucking well chess so game, none of you get essentially. It'll be like hard mode. <laughs> Fun. You wouldn't be saying that if you were the pawn. Oh, uh, okay. she honestly might first. be. She's so crazy. Let's flip this wart. You got this, bud. Nice. Oh wow, four spaces. That's a little different. Oh, it's like a knight, but double jumping genius. Okay. I don't like this game. <laughs> Such a basic response. This is gonna be easy. What the fuck is this game? Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's like the nice. Uh, yeah, this is such a nice. Okay, I mean, it looks like Marcy's putting in that work, but. How many pieces are left? Gotta admit, this temple's good, but not good enough. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the no! What? No! Guys, this thing cheats! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. 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 Man, what a day. Hop up! Marcy, do something! All right, so what if it cheats? Still not enough to beat me. Start cheating? Ah! Oh my god, it's literally just... Oh my god, the way the enemy is just literally chasing Hop Up. I still have way more pieces. If I can just attack from a different angle, I should be fine. Ah! You need oh, I start... bet you're loving this, ain't ya? What? No! I might be mad at you, but I don't want to hurt you. Well, you're already hurting me. You're hurting me emotionally, yeah. Every time you yep. remind me of the mistakes I made. Every time you rub it in my face that I let you down. I mean, what's it going to take for you to let this go? Hop up, I... 
I... Just tell me and I'll do it! Anything! They don't know! No! Huh? I just need time. Look, I want things yeah. to go back to the way they were, but... A little but... soft piano. It's complicated. You take all the time you need. Oh. Maybe it's enough to admit we've still got issues instead of pretending they don't exist. Yeah. I think that'd be good. This episode, you accept, you know, again, we'll this see. episode makes 13 be everything I want it to he be. He had a family. Aww. He had a family. <laughs> what the fuck, Polly? What am I doing? No, 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 no. Ah! no Pop-Pop and Goo cares about this stupid game. I forfeit. Ah, it's not working. Maybe I have to flip the bit wart too. What the fuck? Marcy, be a badass! What the heck's going on? I'm trying to throw this game, but it won't let me. I need your help. Help you? How? Ah! I'm gonna throw you! <laughs> Jesus! I need to warn you, though. We flipped the war. It ended the game. And they didn't get in. <laughs> Jesus. Ow. Marcy? Wisdom, though. The wisdom not to sacrifice your friends. Yeah, Remember the riddle? The Remember the riddle? It wasn't worth you guys getting hurt. Remember the I riddle? So caught up in proving uh, I forget the exact word of the riddle, but that was, that was your well, proving your wisdom. Defense, that game was a ding ding cheat. Yeah, yep. I still think you're pretty smart. A little obsessive, though. Thanks. But she proved she was wise. Yep. Exactly. They just won. A lot of errors. I got it, Temple. I wasn't smart enough to win, but I can find the exit, okay? It's not the exit. Uh, uh, well, maybe it is, her? but... I'm not that old, but yes, thank you. Nice, nice. Oh, I guess it was. Damn. Guess we won't be charging the stone today, huh? No. And since I lost... Check I'm not the stone. The temple. It's already you charged. Have to try it all again. Without me. We'll manage, dude. Somehow. Ch hey guys, check the stone. The failure arrows wants to keep going this way. <sighs> well, if we're gonna lose, might as well lose all the way. No, this is where you're gonna charge it. Charging time. What? The outhouse? Wait a Are you second. kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <gasps> What's that? What the shit? No, it can't be. Guys, this is where we charge the stone. Huh? Why? But we failed. I uh, wouldn't recommend touching that. <gasps> Yeah, I actually would. Only the worthy will have the wisdom to choose. Yep, the Whether wisdom. Whether it's more important to win or yep. have the humility to lose. Yep. A choice was made to save thy friends. And honestly, doesn't that make you a winner in the end? That last yep. bit was oddly casual. Yes, it was. Of course. What the wisdom to lose, so yep. The temple wasn't just testing for intelligence. It was also testing humility. for humility. Yep. Well, don't give the temple a chance to change its mind. Charge that bad boy. Green, right? Whoa! Whoa! What the? What? Oh, okay. It's the green one, yep. We did it? We did it! Yeah! yeah. Ah. Uh. Guys, it's leading us to the next temple. That's oh, good. Oh, that's very convenient. We should be able to triangulate its location with a bit of work. Whoa! This just keeps getting better. Be cool right. that the gems will lead to, to the other one. It's nice. Oh, and uh, whoops, I uh... pop pop. It's totally fine. It hurt, but I know you didn't mean to. And I want you to know that I'm really not mad about it. Ah, uh, no, using that to go to something else. And I want you to know that I will make an effort to be more Aww. careful about where I walk because hey, uh, just stop. Can we leave now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uncomfortable to watch. Yeah, We're working on it. This is gonna be I great. I can't wait for more hot pop and Ann. Take a break first. Take right, a break. Please. Yeah. Fair yeah, enough. I'll get to the other temples after my trip. Now we're gonna do the weird Andrea thing. The political thing. situation yep. is worsening, Your Highness. What started as a small valley riot is quickly becoming something more. Not Great only to see, that, uh, the Tome Lords have agreed to meet. This could spell disaster. How disappointing. And the traitor Grime is still at large and currently being aided by a. Ah! 
Oh, he only cares about Why, this. It's a message from Marcy. Looks like they're making progress. That's enough for now, Yunan. I'll handle the rest. Doesn't care about the political situation. Bro, give me Charles vibes now. What the fuck? Oh, yes, if you don't know. He give me big Charles vibes. Prophecy is being undone as we speak, my lord. Being undone. Soon. Also, we my will lord. Have our revenge. What the fuck? What is this Vader and Emperor shit? What the hell? What? What was that? What the hell? The prophecy is being undone. The prophecy is being undone, not fulfilled. It's the opposite. Interesting. Huh. Okay, well, we're getting into something. De something is definitely going down, and it's, it's going to all come together in time, I suppose. That was the first temple. Another double-length episode. A really good one as well. That was definitely one of the best episodes of the series once again. Um, just a great episode. You know, we got to see Marcy in the zone solving puzzles. But this was an episode that tested... It's interesting because this was an episode... You know, th this temple was testing Marcy as a character. Which is really interesting because so much of the episode was focused around the the um, ever-changing dynamic between Hot Pop and Anne. So we had, had kind of like two things going on. Hot Pop and Anne's uh, testy waters and Marcy's uh, character tests, so to speak. Uh, testing not only her brain, but also her, again, her, her character. And I thought that was really cool. And we got a lot out of this episode. And In addition to literally charging one of the three gems of the Calamity Box... Uh, which was really cool, but I I really like how that all went down. I thought that was a really cool episode. There was a lot of interesting stuff in there. It was interesting to see how one of these temples work, and I'm very excited to see what the Ann Temple. Now I'm actually wondering if the Ann Temple is going to be second, and they're going to do the Sasha Temple last because that would make a lot of sense narratively. Because it's like the thing is like we still need to see what happens with Sasha, but there's also a good chance they do Sasha's next and then Ann's, but. It pretty much guarantees us that we're going to get, like, Sasha's going to have to team up with them to some extent to do this temple thing. And they're going to have a lot to talk about and all that. But, um, really cool episode. Really cool episode of Amphibia. Honestly, like I said, one of the best episodes for sure. The Along with both Marcy on the Gates and uh, the season one finale, which I've now forgotten the title of, um, all of the double length episodes have been fantastic, uh, and, and this one was no exception. Just a really, a really interesting episode that gave us a lot of really fun stuff, and I really enjoyed it a lot. I thought that was really cool. Uh, Marcy's awesome. You can't. There's no way you just don't love her. She's such a just relatable and fun and adorable character. And, um, like I said, the, the, the tension and the turmoil between Anne and Hot Pop is so compelling. And it, like, immediately resolved my main issue, at least at face value, with episode 13B. Which was that they kind of moved on way too fast. But we got to quickly see that that was, in fact, not the case. They didn't actually move on. There was still... A lot of turmoil there because that was a big deal and it's great to see that Anne couldn't just forgive and forget and it was going to cause a lot of um, weird uh, tension between Anne and Hot Pop and that is something that I absolutely love and that that, that, that that felt more believable. This feels so much more in line with Anne as we know her and just the whole it makes episode 13B and just in general Hot Pop's decision to bury the Calamity Box have so much more weight. It makes the actions of the characters feel like they have more weight, that it's not something that would just be resolved in eight minutes, right? But something that's actually going to have a lingering effect on the narrative for a while. That's something I fucking love about uh, this. That's something that I think was just awesome. Like, it takes that episode, and that was, like, the one issue I had with 13B, 
and it immediately deletes the one issue, which makes that episode even better than I initially thought it was. So that's fantastic. But episode 14 was great as well. We have one temple down, two to go. We're progressing towards being able to potentially return to Earth. And in the process, we're undoing the prophecy, apparently, and King Andreas is, has a master that he serves in the fucking basement, demon thing with like a million fucking eyes. What the fuck was any of that? That shit's come out of nowhere. I mean, Andreas being like sus, like we've had various teases of Andreas being maybe a bit more sinister than he likes to come off as. But what the fuck is all this? Like, actually, what the shit? I mean, I'm down. I'm excited to see where it goes. But what the fuck? Um, at, seriously, what the fuck is that shit? But, uh, yeah, this was a uh, really, really fun episode of um, Amphibia. I really, really enjoyed it. And this set was really good. And that was a pretty good stopping point. Because this is going to be the last episode I watch for a good... No, probably like week and a half or so, two weeks maybe. It's going to be a while before I watch another episode. For you guys, you know, again, because this episode isn't going to... You guys aren't going to see this episode, I believe. For, yeah, you guys aren't going to see this episode, I think, for like a week and a half or so. Anyways, after I record this. It's going to be a while before this episode goes up because I'm recording it on March 13th. I'm not entirely sure when this uh, video will go up. But it's going to be a while and, um, yeah, but for me, my trip's going to be in a couple days and then, but, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a while before I, uh, record, uh, Amphibia again. So this is going to be a break point for me for like about two-ish weeks or so. And I'm really excited to be leaving off on such a great break point where we're almost done with season two. We're probably going to get the other two temples in the last two sets. That's probably going to be hype as fuck. I'm excited for Sasha. I'm getting a little desperate for Sasha. I feel like the show's not giving me enough Sasha and Grime. But it does sound like Sasha and Grime have made a ton of progress based on that little report we got from Yunin at the end of episode 14. So they've definitely been busy putting in that work. But I'm desperate to see my girl. And I'm really excited for that. It should be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are uh, excited for it too. But uh, it's going to be a little while before I watch more Amphibia. So I'm going to have to wait a little while. Which is perfectly fine. But I'm definitely going to be really excited to get back into this show. And watch the uh, the final two sets of uh, season uh, two. I think that's going to be a ton of fun. And based on what we've seen so far. I imagine things are going to get wild near the end of season two. And it's going to be great. But uh... Yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say as far as the video as a whole is concerned. Um, not, not really a whole lot else to get down to. That was a fun set of Amphibia, another four episodes down. We're almost done with Season 2. We got two more videos left in Season 2, and I can't wait to see where all of that goes. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to support the channel, you can check out the Patreon down below in the description. Discord server's down there as well. Anyways... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without any further ado, it is time for me to bid you adieu. Flamin' Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.